Hawks by a score of 52 to 41. And we will be going. Holy Names will keep possession after the turnover by Caston. Again, a stat that stood out. Seven missed free throws by Holy Names. Nine for 16 for the free throw line. Could be a lot closer in this ball game. Nonetheless, Fuller brings it up for Holy Names. Finds Green. Robito looking for the double team with Hewitt. He's got to be and careful. He He's got three fouls. Almost. He's got to be careful. Dennis gets the ball back. Swings it back over to Fuller. Chambers drives. Puts up the shot. And gets the finish and one. Count it. Nice play. Robito has got to be careful playing with those three fouls. Reaching on in on shooters. Second foul on Staves. Chambers is a 75% free throw shooter, so looking to finish the and one. He's four for five from the line with 11 points and two rebounds, and he knocks in the and one free throw. Cuts it to eight, the deficit. Point Loma leads 52 to 44 with 11.30 to go in the second half. Hawks back in that press. Robito looking to set up something, waving his hand in the air, trying to set up a play. Hewitt's got a mismatch in the paint if they can find him. Robito on the left wing, gets a screen from Hewitt, picks up his dribble, swings to McKenzie, to Stapes in the corner. Robito cross court pass, takes the three, and short on the Still shot. Still unable to hit. He's thinking about it too much when he's shooting. He did pause in that one. You mentioned Jag. He paused a little bit on that three ball. Chambers long on the three. Rebound by Robito of Point Loma. Robito looking to push to tempo. Behind the back. Cut by Staves. Missed him. Okoten, quick three, in and out. And rebound, Holy Names, courtesy of Rob Fuller. Rob Fuller looking to push for Holy Names. Chambers driving baseline, picks up his dribble, finds Allen, and great pump fake by Green, and is fouled on the way up, and we'll get two at the line. These will be the 17th and 18th free throws for the Holy Name Hawks. Loma only having shot three. Interesting disparity there. So do you think, I mean, Talk about Jack, like eight point lead for Point Loma. Do you think Point Loma needs to attack the basket more? Or is I it, think, so they stick I to think, what's working? Yeah, I think they need to put the refs in a position to start blowing their whistle a little bit more. Um, they're not shooting horribly from beyond the arc, but it's not falling like it usually does. And so I think the more they're able to get stops and run, they need to keep attacking the paint. So Green knocks in the first free throw. And again, we mentioned the fouls in the paint. Point Loma has 16 fouls already, and Holy Names only has two free throws, so Holy Names is going to get one-on-one -on -one free throws the rest of the way. Yep. Again, a little recap of the ball game. Holy Names start out early in this game up to a two-point lead. Point Loma kind of dominated that first half, and then at the end of the first half, Holy Names hit a clutch three, was only down six, and now Point Loma was up by one point, I think 14 in the first, the second half. And now it's back to six with a 52 to 46 lead with 10.30 to go. Robito calling a horn set. Robito gives it to McKenzie on the left wing. McKenzie with the ball drives, kicks it out to Stapes in the right corner. Cross court pass back to Robito at the top. Screen by Hewitt. Robito drives. Stapes with the ball at the left wing. Poked by Chambers and turnover back to Ovi Names. Loma's got to be really careful here. It's getting into dangerous territory. Still a whole quarter of the game to go. They're only up by six. Lolier with the ball, checking in for Holy Names. Out to Chambers at the top. Chambers gives it back to Feeney. Fakes on the three, drives. Free throw floater and buries it. Wow, what a shot by Feeney there. Left-handed. Point Loma with the 52 to 48 advantage now. With 940, this game is getting very interesting. Here's Hewitt in the post. Hewitt going to work in the post. Left-handed. Hook shot. He made that look easy. That's what they need to do more. Attack the basket. Get inside. He does have the size advantage down low. Absolutely. Definitely. Go to him. Green with the ball for holy names. Swings it to Chambers on the right wing. Chambers sizing up Staves, crossover, stops his dribble, kicks it out to Feeney, corner three on the way, too strong, and Staves with the rebound for Point Loma. Robito looking to push in transition to Summers, and Summers loses the ball in the pass, and Holy Names gets the ball with Chambers, and Holy Names looking to push themselves, puts it up, short, rebound, however, by Feeney, and he goes up and gets two free throws. 
That's a tough call for Point Loma. It looks like they had all ball, and it's gonna be two more free throws for the Hawks. Caden Anderson set to check back in inside. You mentioned Cameron Feeney from Saratoga, California, Valley Christian High School product. Six foot eight sophomore forward, 210 pounds. These are his first free throws of the night. So. Let's see if he's able to knock them down. Shoots 78. Shoots 78 percent from the free throw line as he knocks in the first one. It's pretty good shooting from a guy his height, a good big man. Again, we mentioned the foul discrepancy, seven to two in team fouls. Point Loma has seven. So, I mean, free throws all the way now. If you're if you're holding names, I would attack more. But we'll absolutely, you got the refs whistle on your side tonight. Keep using it. Feeney with the second free throw. And it's off the rim, rebounded by Anderson. Gives it to his point guard, Roboto. And we have a five point advantage courtesy of Point Loma. 54 to 49 with 8.40 to go in the second half. Roboto on the right wing. McKenzie with the ball. Go Gives inside, it to Anderson. Inside. Lefty loses the ball. And a foul on Feeney. There you go. On the floor. Put the refs in a position to call some fouls. Get inside, get yourself to the free throw line. Feeney a little frustrated with that foul call. It's his third personal on the night. He'll stay in the game though for the Hawks. Only eight minutes left. Roboto on the inbound. <laughs> Gives to Anderson. Oh, great find. Oh, but Summers could not handle it. Summers though gets it back and puts it up and in. Kind of falling asleep on the defensive end of your holy names. You had him and then you just kind of let him get the layup. You got to protect the basket first. The ball is going to score, not the other guy in the corner who doesn't have the ball. And that makes a seven point lead. And we get a moving screen on Feeney. He picks up two quick ones. That's his fourth personal. We'll see if Holy Name subs him out. They're going to leave him on the court with four fouls. Interesting. We'll see what uh, oh. Coach Sanchez. Here comes DeCourcy. Um, there he's going to take out Feeney. DeCourcy takes him out for Feeney. DeCourcy from Los Angeles went to Moore Park College. Six foot seven junior, 205 pounds, and is a plays the forward position. Roboto with the ball, crosses the PL logo that's green and yellow here at Golden Gymnasium. May almost got away with the travel. He did get away with the travel, what am I saying? May with the corner three, short on the three, rebound by Holy Names, and Lolier drives, and May draws the charge as he goes sliding across half court. The ball will go back to Point Loma after the charge. There's Lallier a skid seems mark. really upset about that. You can see the skid mark by May sliding across half court. Absolutely. Very long skid mark. Hawks and are going to take another timeout. And with that, actually, that is our third media timeout of the second half. As Point Loma leads 56 to 49 here at Golden Gymnasium. Stay tuned on Point TV.